Hi everybody, it's Miss Connie and welcome to Connie Loves Disney. If you like all kinds of cool, fun Disney content, you're at the right place. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for continued support. Today we have a really fun day. I went to the local Disney store outlet and boy did I get some great deals. So I'm going to show you those right now. <laughs> Okay, like I said, I went to my local outlet store down in Carlsbad and wanted to check it out because I'd watched some other people, um, in particular I watched a Surfer Girl. She does a lot of outlet uh, shopping that she does and she seemed to get some really good deals. So I haven't been to a Disney outlet store in a long time. So I made a drive out there this week and I did really well. I've got this whole bag full of goodies here. So let me go ahead and show those to you, share them with you. Um, first thing that I was able to get and this one was only $3.98, which is shocking. I got a Guardians of the Galaxy right here. I got Rocket right here. And this is really cool. Um, I do love Guardians of the Galaxy. It is my favorite ride at um, DCA. And I can't wait to go um, in May when I go back. But I thought it was really cool because I don't have this one. I do collect Funko Pops, obviously. And um, even though he is Marvel, um, I do like this one. And I like it because it has the sticker that shows that it is a Disney Park exclusive. And for $3.98, can't beat that for a Funko Pop, but this is really cool. So I do like this one. He's holding the little radio right there, um, like when he's, he steals it, like in the beginning of the ride. You see him with a little hand, I'll, I'll take that, he says. And he's got it right there. So very cool. So this was a great deal. So I have a few more things in the bag. Um, let's see, I also bought a, um, a beach towel. Um, these were, they saw them, they had, when I first got them, they had some for like $14, but I'm thinking, uh, no, I don't think I want to pay that much for a beach towel. Uh, but this one was in the clearance section, and this is, I'm going to stand up and show you. This one is Cinderella, and I just thought it was really pretty. So you can see it has the castle right there. It has all of Cinderella right there. You can see it. And this one was only $3.98 for this towel. And that's really cool. That's a really good deal for this one. Because normally, like I said, they're about $15. And she was only um, $3.98. And where I moved to, I have a pool now. So um, this is going to come in handy in the summer. So really cool. I have a few other Disney um, uh, beach towels. But I just wanted to add them for $4. You can't beat that. And then, like I said, you, as you do know, I do collect Disney pins. So they had some really good deals on some pins. So the first one that I got was this one. It's a Goofy. It's a taco, like National Taco Day. And um, I love this one. I don't normally collect Goofy, but me and my friends love to go get Mexican food. And my little squad that I have, uh, Sherry, Cindy, and Kathy, and a few others, um, we all love to go get tacos. And I just thought this reminded me, I mean, my friends, we love going to Mexican food restaurants and everything. So I just thought this was really cute. And I think it was like $4 and normally it is an $18 pin. So I thought that was really good. It's a limited release and everything. So he's really cute. It's goofy there with the giant taco, really cute. Another one that I uh, also got was the cereal one. And this one normally was like $17.99. I think it was $7. I do have a few of the cereal ones, and this one is Timothy from Dumbo, and it has a little cereal in there and stuff like that. I'm um, not sure if we're going to collect the whole set, but for the price, I couldn't resist it. And if I don't keep it, I can always add it to a mystery box or part of a giveaway and stuff like that. But this is really cool, cool. or use it as a trader at the park. Um, and then I did get um, this one also. This one's really cute. It's a holiday one. And this one was um, $3, and it's normally $18. And this one is a little holiday one, Christmas one. I do have a big collection of Christmas ones that I put up and everything. And this stuff that was really cute for $4. He's so cute. This is like Mickey and Minnie, like the gingerbread. I do have the Funko Pops of Mickey and Minnie from the Funko Shop that were the gingerbread uh, people. And it was really cute. I have a couple other pins here. Um, this one, I don't really collect um, the Mandalorian. Um, I do have the big 10 inch, you can see, I don't know if you can see it back there, but I do have that one, um, or the child. But um, this one was, like I said, $4, that was really cute. He moves. This one, I definitely will, um, 
and it's normally $16 for this one also. It's a special limited edition. So um, I'm going to keep him and probably put him in a mixed mystery box. Or when I get to 300, a lot of these other things I'll do is I'll make a big um, subscriber giveaway box and give all these away. Back there, it's kind of cute because he does move. And I do like the Mandalorian um, series and everything, and I enjoy watching that. And then I have one more pin that I purchased, and it's another one of the cereal ones right here. And this is from Emperor's New Groove. Um, I actually, when after I got home, I checked, I actually did get this one. Um, I got it from one of my monthly, Mickey monthly uh, boxes, but that's okay. Because like I said, I can always use this as a trader or um, put it in, like I said, in a mystery box or a giveaway. And it has little cereal in here and everything. And um, I recently did get at the um, Photoshop, and I'll be in another um, video, I was able to get the two pack of Crunk and Yasma um for the uh, convention that just we just that the uh, Funko just had but it's really cool so that'll be coming too but I just thought they were a good deal they're a good price I mean you know seven dollars for a limited edition Disney pin that's a great price and like I said I can always trade them or give them away or um or you know put them in a mystery box or something um but then I also got a whole bunch of uh clothing they had some really good deals on t-shirts. You know, I do like all my Disney t-shirts and everything, and I practically wear one every day. Um, so you can ask my coworkers, they'll tell you yes, because Connie always has one on. Um, so anyways, uh, let me show you these. So the first one I got was a Haunted Mansion one. And this is really cool right here. And this one says $999. And this one, all these t-shirts were only like $10 each. And you know, in the parks, uh, t-shirts are anywhere from 17 to 24 dollars usually for one t-shirt and I thought this was really cute. I love Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion next to Paris the Caribbean is my favorite ride and I just couldn't resist that for the deal, for the price. Another one that I got was this one right here. It's a Mickey Mouse one and rarely do you find long sleeve Disney shirts and this one it was really cool because on the side you can see it has Disneyland running down the side right here. And I just thought this was a really cool shirt and everything. I like the tie-dye. I like that it's long sleeve. And it's pretty thick, pretty good quality. This also was only $10. The next shirt I got is also a Haunted Mansion shirt. And it's this one right here. And that was really cool. It's in red. It has everybody. It has the hitchhiking ghost. It has the maid. It has a uh, butler. It's just really cool. And I like it because it's kind of like distressed looking. So it looks a little bit older and everything. And on the back it has some more. Right there. It has like them right there. Just a really cool shirt. Not too heavy. Be perfect for the summer. And like I said, I like the two-tone and everything. And I, again, this one was only like $10. Um, one of the things that I really... One of the places that I really want to go it's on my bucket list. If you watch my videos, you know that my goal is next five years, hopefully five, six years, once, you know, if everything dies down, um, is to go to all, all the Disneys around the world. Um, probably by the end of this year, I'm hoping to go to Walt Disney World. If not, I will definitely go to Walt Disney World and Disney Paris next year. But one of the resorts that I like love to go to is Alani. And they had this sweatshirt, and it is from Alani. And I just thought it was really cool because it has the Disneyland right there. And then on the back, it has Mickey right here. And you can see, and it is from Milani. And this one was $19.99. And it's really nice. It's all warm inside. It's got the fuzzies and everything. And you know that you cannot buy a hoodie um, at Disneyland for $19.99. So something like this probably would have run about $49, $50 for this. They did have some spirit jerseys. And I looked. They had some spirit jerseys for like $20. But... Unfortunately, they all they're, they're all either way big, like three extra large, or they're like extra small. There's nothing in the middle, you know. So it was not my day for spirit jerseys, which is fine because I don't really wear them. But for that price, I probably would have got one. They had a paint and ink one that I really wanted, but unfortunately, they only had it in extra small and everything. But they had some other ones. They had a lot of Star Wars ones there. Uh, but I'm not really a Star Wars person per se that to wear a spirit jersey, but. This Alani one was really cool and it's very comfortable. And then I have two more shirts that I got. And the next one is this one right here. Again, I like that kind of summery tie-dye look and everything just looks really comfy. It's very comfortable. 
uh, very cute, very colorful. And so like this would be great for the summer. Um, Cause like I said, I have a lot of black shirts. I don't have a lot of colored t-shirts and you know, I don't want to wear black in the summer, especially going to the parks and everything. And the last one, um, I had seen these at the park. I think this is last year's style. They had, it was like that, that retro seventies look. And it's this one right here. And it just reminds me of the 70s with the little stripes down here, a little rainbow faded out. It says Disney 55 um, Resort here. Uh, Disneyland Resort. And it's like that kind of 70s look and everything. I thought they were really cool. And like I said, again, these are all like $10. So for the price and everything and finding like, you know, Rocket here for $4 and all those pins, I really made out really well. You know, believe it or not, all this stuff was... Um, Less than $100 for all this, and I did really good at the Disney store. Um, definitely will be going back there again and checking out, because I know that the girl told me that they always get new merchandise in and everything, and you just have to hunt. I mean, I had to spend a lot of time hunting for stuff, looking in the clearance section, going through all the shirts and everything to find the, the deals and everything like that. But to me, it was worth it. I got a really good deal. It was a beautiful drive out there and everything down to Carlsbad. Um, I just had a great time with it and everything. So I hope you enjoyed my Disney haul. Let me know down below which what items were your favorites. Um, and I'd love to know that. Thank you again for subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And thank you again for the continued support. You guys all take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye everybody.